Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7 Part 2, Serpentile. And I'm actually in the wrong place. I want to discipline, not ethicality. Well, let's fix that. That's uh, one of these two. Let's see. This one. Okay. Why shaped depression? Mind, body, environment. Oh, so we are actually in the mountains right there. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Let me get on to the appropriate part of the map. So there's a button there, there's a locked door there, there's a, there's a wall there. Ah. Let's go ahead and translate again. Should probably pull out another translation scroll. Entry forbidden. Because it's a forbidden zone. Apparently. I don't know. All right, well, um, that door is locked. Uh, we've got a scroll here. Do thou not despair, General, for the arrows of discipline are well hidden. If thou hast need of them, I will provide them. We've got a book here. At ease, handbook for the commissioned soldier. I think we have read this one. All right, so we've got some stairs there. Can't get back there to the uh, the basin. Oh, this is actually open. Oh no, that that's right. That appears. Duh. All right, someone just yowed. Mind transference chamber. Fascinating. I don't have anyone that I want to transfer my mind into right now. Discipline of body, discipline of environment, and discipline of mind. Hmm. Well, let's talk to this automaton. Soldiers, discipline, fountain, seek, meek, die in acid, automaton fetches water, Sleek, speak, squeak. You, uh... You appear to be broken. You appear to be broken. I can't get there. Oh. It, hello? Dang it! Um... What the hell is going on now? <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Let, let me see what happens. If I... Do that. Hello? What the hell are you doing? Well, now you guys got in there. <laughs> now you guys can't get out. Um. So there's that thing. I think the body of the uh, automaton, yeah, is up there. Let's see if I can get close enough to see the body without the wall appearing. Nope. Alright, seriously, that's getting annoying though, the uh, little lightning bolts. Can I pick any of these? Nope. 
Well. I'm gonna press this button here. Oh. Okay. Alright, something has bugged out in that I can't, uh, um, get upstairs for that for some reason. Okay, so... Fine, let's just do that. Ow! Let's do a restoration. So, I was able to open one door. Oh, now this door is open. Not that one. This one, but of course I'm not going to be able to get up it. Hmm. It's definitely being a little buggy. Might have to restart the game. Definitely being a little buggy. Um, yeah, hold on a moment. Okay, everything is working now, so... Um, oh, that's right. Pause actually pauses the game. I always forget about that part. Alright, so we've got some books here. I wonder if we've got a uh, secret passage here. Oh yeah, there is a secret passage there. I may have to go uh, back to the other side. Alright, well, we've got some books. Let's read them. The War of Order and Chaos by Sonatess. No one truly knows what happened to cause the war between the forces of chaos and order about 300 years ago. No one can say for sure that he knows which devilish thoughts possessed people to fight each other when they were supposed to love each other and treat each other with respect. But everyone hath been pained for it since the war ended. The Order forces won the war and imprisoned the Chaos forces. But what exactly did they win? It seems that they miss their brothers and sisters now. And who was to say that the Order forces enjoyed throwing the Chaos forces into confinement? Going back to the days before the war, living in peace with the Chaos forces would be a dream come true for me. Tenets of Discipline Precepts by Shushiro Number 1. One cannot master the world around him without first mastering oneself. 2. A task left unfinished is a task failed. 3. That means to succeed is brought about by discipline. 4. Discipline brings about obedience. Obedience brings about order. 5. The mind disciplines the body. Another copy of the, uh, that one. The Symbol of Discipline by Charles. The symbol of discipline is a reminder of what we, the initiates of discipline, must strive for. Consisting of three prongs, the symbol... They symbolize the following, mind, body, and environment. Environment. The mind is the first level of discipline. Without discipline of the mind, one cannot master the other levels of discipline. Discipline of the body is the second level of discipline, for one cannot master one's surroundings without first mastering oneself. The third branch of the symbol represents discipline of environment. This branch, added to represent the superiority of order, justifies the military's presence here. If one can master oneself, one can then master the world around him, and drive chaos out from his environment. The symbols here in, the, in our temple are not mere inspiration, however. The altar before the serpent statue doth have upon it two slots. In order to ensure, that, ensure the security of our temple, the automatons are aided by safeguards against defilers. Bolts of lightning fire from the altar unless the court symbol is placed in the slot on the left side. A bridge spanning the water around the statue is called into being if the obsidian symbol is placed in the right slot. If it is not there, none can gain access to the water of discipline. Hmm. Disciplining Soldiers by Seth Manti. It hath become necessary to create a means of disciplining our soldiery. Though the soldiers were given to work we are given to work with are generally obedient and disciplined, an occasion 
on occasion an unruly soldier will appear in the ranks. It would be foolish to merely dismiss this able-bodied man, for in these times of war every hand capable of holding a sword must do so. Nay, dismissal is not the answer. What then are we to do with those who resist the teachings of discipline? By what means may we save this soldier from the lure of chaos and place him firmly back on the path toward being a useful implement with which to smite the chaotic forces? With these questions, our master did challenge the wisest men in the temple. I, Seth Manti, did solve these challenges. But I won't tell you because I'm a dick that way. My Journey by Shartmana on my journey to find the Serpent Fountain, I was troubled many times with doubt about my quest. Was I doing the right thing? Was I taking the correct path? How much longer could I resist the urge to accept failure? Did I leave the oven on? What about the blender? Is my refrigerator running? I hunted through the master's chambers, stared into the coffins of those who once cared for the temple, and searched the library for the keys and implements necessary to complete the quest. The master would only tell me two things, that I would have no reason to leave the temple, and that somewhere on the path dis my discipline would be tested. I speak only in generalities, lest my words be seen by the wild eyes of one undisciplined. I doubt not that such a person would die on the way to... I... Ah, yeah, okay. I doubt not that such a person would die on the way to the water, but there are wards against death in all its incarnations. My discipline was indeed tested, and tested harshly. The key to completing my quest was perseverance. I had, my, I had to search the same place many times and not admit defeat. I had to discipline my mind to keep it from wandering. The hardest part of the path to the fountain lay just before it, and I bear the scars on my feet. But, as is taught here, if one can only discipline the mind, the body can then be trained. I pushed the pain from my mind so that I did not feel the acid searing my flesh, eating away at my skin. When finally I did reach the fountain, the test was not over. To return to the temple proper, I had to brave the acid again. The test made me strong, obedient, disciplined. Had I failed, I would be as one of those whose one of uh, one of those whose hearts I seek to skewer. Chaotic and undisciplined. Due to the lessons of discipline I had learned, I was able to not only force the pain from my mind as the acid tried to eat my legs away, but steal my flesh against it so that not only the soles of my feet bear mild scars. So, oh, so that now only the soles of my feet bear mild scars. Ouch. Body Transference, the ultimate warrior. When a warrior hath demonstra demonstrated unswerving discipline, the Order Hierophant may approve the creation of the ultimate warrior. So, like the ultimate fighting champion? The candidate must be willing to cast aside his or her own body in favor of that of an undying automaton. This is the highest honor of order. To serve as order's warrior through all time, the candidate shall be conducted to the chamber with all pomp and pageantry. Upon the left dais shall stand the inanimate automaton husk. The candidate shall ascend to the right dais after the transference button hath been pressed. Once the bodies have been transferred, the final test of discipline must be completed. In this, the candidate must strike down the now empty husk that he or she formerly knew as his or her body. Until this is done, the body transfer is not complete, and the process will re reverse unless the organic husk is destroyed. Some few candidates may find themselves unable to withstand the transference, and as such would normally be considered failures. But it is the Order of Hierophant's wishes that no stigma be attached to this weakness. The candidate shall be allowed to live the remainder of his or her life in service to order, being an exemplar in all but the final test of discipline. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to do that. Don't know why the mountain is showing up here, but okay. Uh, there's some stuff. There is some stuff. Unfinished discipline. Master punishment. No order. Alcove's pain cannot succeed. Failed duty punishment. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll take your bucket, though. I see you there, invisible brass box. Ah, another bucket. Let's take the bucket. Lots of buckets. Stop it. Nope, didn't mean to go... What is this thing, anyway? Bane... J oh! Can't get there. 
Oh, Bane Jail. So that's where one of the Banes was. Mm. Aha! Found you secret passage. And I found a key and obsidian Y shape. I hope that's not actually a key. Uh, let's see, where's my keyring? Keyring, get on the floor for now. Thank you. Um, why don't you guys hold on to this for me? Too heavy. There you go, Stefano. You hold it. Just in case it's a key. Well, I've got some more books here. And apparently there's space behind the desk to walk. The Book of Discipline by Shrosvitash. The ultimate wisdom of life may only be reached through discipline. It takes strength and concentration to follow the guidelines of discipline. Therefore, the weak and distracted mind will fail. The weak and distracted mind will not have the power to succeed. And only that power will take thee to the top. But there is no room for the weak at the top. Only the strong mind will find a place there. Our blessed Serpent Isle, by Shovaresh. Our beloved Serpent Isle is the prettiest country there is. No place can be more enjoyable for mankind. It is so peaceful, there is no anger or distrust in the population. Everything is balanced, people live together well. There cannot be any other place in any other dimension that could possibly be more peaceful or more blessed with beauty. Only balance is responsible for the well-being of this country. Only balance makes it possible for people to live together in peace. Only balance will provide good harvests, which provide enough food. People that have enough, food, enough to eat are happy and do not have to worry whether they are going to live to the next day. Balance is the ultimate way to freedom and peace. The beauty of our country cannot be put into words. One must go and discover it for himself. The Importance of Meditation Manual by Zazanoush Zazanush. The importance of meditation becomes noticeable when people of all ages admit that they are living a better, more peaceful life since they started to seek communion with the Serpent of Order. To apply the power of meditation to one's life, young student, obey the rules and follow them as they are written in this manual. I have gathered some guidelines that are easy to understand so that thou mayest begin with, those, with these relaxing exercises without having to investigate any further. 1. Find thyself a place where thou will not be disturbed by anyone or anything. Carefully spread the mat of meditation on the floor. Use only the prepared mats, for they are imbued with special powers to aid meditation. Kneel and close thine eyes. Concentrate on breathing very slowly and deeply. Begin repeating the mantra, Isit. Do not speak. But I thought we were just suppo we were supposed to repeat the mantra, Isit. Do not let anything interrupt thee. Continue with the mantras until thou dost feel total peace of mind. These lessons will lead thee to a much higher level of meditation. They will prepare thee for the climax of the test of discipline. Our Great Leaders by Sh Shilonar. Shilonar The religion of our great nation must have leaders, worthy, leader, we, worthy leaders. I thought that was going for worthy readers. There are things, events, and ceremonies that require a person of great trust. The nation hath decided to choose trustworthy people for those positions and give them certain ranks. Full of respect do we call our leader of the Shrine of Balance our Great Hierophant. Only the Great Hierophant can perform the important ceremonies at the Grand Shrine of Balance. During those ceremonies, however, he receives help from the leaders of the Shrine of Order and Chaos. They have the rank of Order Hierophant and Chaos Hierophant. All three have assistance to help to help them with their duties. These are the sub-leaders. These assistants are of high rank also, and we give them the title of master. These masters are the leaders of our temples. Each one of them is authorized to perform ceremonies in their own temple. Okay. Well, do I have a key for this door now? No. Nope. Well, shucks. Alright, so... Obsidian Y-shape. Alright, that worked that, there. What if we press this button again? Nothing? Ow! 
Ow! Did I put it on the wrong one? Oh. Okay, there we go. I can get over it and get down here. Eh, I'm okay. Can't get there. What the... There we go. Let this be a final warning. Those who enter this room lacking in discipline will forfeit their lives. Oh my, uh, do I want to do that? I don't know that I want to do that yet, then. Hi, rats! Do I have a key for you? For this door? I do! And the door closed. Do you want to close the door on me? Silly automatons. Hey, there's a ooh, nice glowy key. I like glowy keys. Uh, let's go with restoration. Oh, acid. Uh oh. Welp. Um. Leave Monk Isle. Great. That is really far from where I would have wanted to be. Anyway, let's uh, head back to Monk Isle. And see if we can... Uh, I think we need to talk to... One of the monks. All right, see if we can find, uh, not her, not him. Draxta is the one that I want. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gweno? Thy friend Gweno doth not seem right, O Great One. She is a fine one to talk. Karnax could divine what ails her, to be certain. Hmm. Karnax? Karnax is a proud fellow, O Great One, but not so proud that he would interfere with thy quest. He knows much of the history of the land. He will be a great help to thee if thou dost ask, but only if thou dost ask. Um... Proud? Karnax's ability to divine is second only to Zenka herself. He can be a bit acerbic if he doth not feel that he is being given the proper respect. History. Karnax hath made an exhaustive study of the history of the serpent people. He can tell thee the most tell thee most anything about them. Serpent people. The serpent people dwelt in this land long before our forefathers settled here. I do not know what happened to them, but Karnax might. Uh, destiny. Senka saw the destinies of every man, woman, and child. They are written in her blessed book. All right, I think we need to talk to her about something, but I think we've talked about a lot of these things with her. Such wisdom might aid thee in thy quest, Avatar. Yes, thanks, Stefano. Here from another world. Zenka. Place of Visions. Yes, I would like you to show a vision, which I believe we've seen this before, but uh, let's see it again, just in case um, we need to do this again. So, goodbye. So we had a problem with acid. You guys got here pretty fast. Uh, let's see... Vision! Silence, please. We shall now listen to the Song of the Void, which whispers of events both past and present. Behold the vision! Well, that looked like a, um, a female automaton. We know where there is a female automaton, so let's go, let's go see if we can uh, convince Petra to join us. Hi, Cantra. Blood! Blood! I want blood! Yes, yes, I know, Cantra. Leave me alone, rat. Well, okay, technically... We could use some experience points for uh, Stefano. Uh, he's got three training points. 
Okay, so we want to go back to Moonshade, which, of course, I don't remember exactly which one that is. I'm sure I'll start remembering exactly which ones these are, like, as I finish the game. Down we go. Fed a biblio is. Oh, there he is. Sitting in a chair in the corner. Yeah, uh, you're not gonna clean up the uh, the corpses on the ground, are you? No? Not, not gonna do that? Okay. You guys should go back to school, you know. Oh, great. We're gonna be attacked here, aren't we? Ah, fine. Be that way. Whatever. Ow! I'll woof you, you s dog. You know what? We never went to the uh, the ranger place, did we? Oh, there's the goblin girl. And all she had was a necklace of bones. Hi, bear. How you doing? Let's get some more buckets. We need buckets. Are you after me, bear? No. Hey, get some more buckets. Oh, there's a ranger. With no equipment. Bucket. Bucket. Oh, too heavy. One of you can take it. Sit, one of you can take it. Thank you. A dark female monk? Well, that was odd. I was not expecting that. But, uh, she's dead now. Apples, grapes, grapes. Nothing good there. Nothing interesting there. Anyway, uh, of course, I always get stuck there. You are just, like, walking in air, uh, Stefano. That was weird. Whatever. Uh, there really aren't any other corpses here. I did want to explore this because we hadn't explored it yet. All right. Ah, there you go, Petra. Aiding thee is mine only solace. How may I be of service, milady? Um, acid. Yes, I know what acid is, milady. It is a corrosive liquid that is very detrimental to human flesh, and most metals, except mine. Dost thou desire mine help, milady? Yes, I do. Let me see if I understand thee correctly. Thou wishest me to accompany thee to an ancient temple. Once there, I will take thy form, and thou wilt take mine for a brief period of time. Hmm. It sounds intriguing. I shall discover, if only for an instant, what it is truly, what it is to truly be human. Thou art not serious, Elmendretta. With so many companions, thou hast no need of me. I think thou art merely trying to cheer me. For this I thank thee, but nothing can fill an empty heart. Well, all right. So, uh, let's see. F2. Numbers. Let's see. Um... All right, so 160 and uh, well, 161, 162. I can. The uh, the Mong bat is above us. <clears throat> All right, modify uh, 161. 
NPC status. I... Because if I, if I tell him to leave, he'll just give me all of his stuff, and I don't want that. What if I... 162... NPC status. I... Okay. Acid. I do indeed desire your help. Yep. If thou dost wish it, then I shall accompany thee. Perhaps the danger shall cause me to forget my grief. Goodbye. Alright, modify 161. NPC status. I. There we go. Uh, I didn't just uh, do something weird, did I? Nope, I didn't. Uh, modify 162. NPC status. I. There we go. Alright, so we've got Petra in our party now. R rather large party, in fact. Um, and she has no gear. Uh, but we can fix that. Let's access someone's uh, stuff. And, um... Sure, why not Dupre? We need to get her a... Uh, oops. We need to get her a uh, backpack. Interestingly enough, her uh, there's a gap between her arms there. There you go. You can have some uh, magic armor. You can have some magic gauntlets. You can have a belt. Let's give you some magic leggings. Let's give you some fur boots. Why not? See what you look like with the uh, the magic wig. That looks odd. Uh, you can have Dupre's shield for now. You can have Aranon's axe, and I guess oh, this is not going to work because I've got hack mover on uh, off. Well, actually. Should be able to find a backpack somewhere. Yeah, one of the, uh, hello. One of the bodies around here has a backpack, as I remember, recall correctly. Why is this guy using that? Put away that stuff. Oh, that's because I put you into... Uh, okay. No, that's actually fine. Because I unpartied him and he unequipped his stuff. Nope. 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 But, uh... Stefano could probably use the belt. Uh, you had a backpack. Yes, you did. Ah, whatever. Oops. There we go. Let's uh, take a look at her stats. Uh, strength 20, Dexterity 15, Intelligence 20, Combat 7, um, not sure if she can be trained. Uh, we will probably try and figure that out. But for now, um, I am probably going to, uh, mess around with our equipment a bit and, uh, sort th some things out. Um, so for now... Uh, we'll call this an episode. Oh, actually, you know what we should do before we uh, do that? Before we end the episode? What do you look like with the, uh, with the magical toupee? That looks rather funny. Yeah.
his face here kind of looks like he's been beat up a bit, though. It looks, like, puffy and swollen. Anyway. Call an episode. In the next one, we shall... I guess see if we can uh, um, transfer our mind into uh, Petra's body. See you next time, everyone.